Hey everybody, this is Claire and this is Small Joyful Things. As always, I go to thrift stores or estate sales or sometimes I buy things from Craigslist and I'm always looking for things that I personally find interesting or that I think you guys might find interesting or that just might have a story to tell. And then I bring them home, try and find out as much as I can about them and then tell you guys about them. So here's what I've got today. I have a little glass bowl. Uh, very, very small, I have to say. And handling it, I'm afraid, is another case where it's just unpleasant to actually hold. But in this case, it's not actually its fault. Um, this is a little bowl that I bought in a thrift store for 80 cents. Um, I'd seen it in the same thrift store several times, and I'd always been kind of, been kind of interested by it. I thought it was a very interesting little thing. And it was very kind of I don't know, just really, really fascinating. There was something kind of, there's something kind of compelling about it. I had a feeling that it had a story. It's just that I wasn't sure I'd be able to figure it out. Um, I could tell as soon as I got it, though, however, that it's been incredibly badly damaged. You can just about see from the surface here. That's just basically something embedded in the glass. I don't even know there. Um, this has been through a dishwasher a lot and it's been absolutely shredded from the dishwasher like i eventually decided to buy it because i thought if nothing else i would like to be able to show someone like to show you all an example of glass that has been so heavily damaged by dishwasher it's been made almost worthless so before we do that it is i'm just four and three quarter inches across um, about one and a quarter inches high or one and three quarter inches high. It's quite a small little thing. Again, my hands are tiny. <laughs> so it's a dishwasher damage. Okay, this is actually a uh, crystal. And not only that, but it's actually cut crystal as well, as far as I can tell. All of those cuts were done by on a cutting wheel. This is not pressed glass. This is actually good stuff. And it is lead crystal, I believe. And the problem is that like, that crystal should never ever be put into the dishwasher. Now you can see on the surface that it has this very faint iridescence. It may not show up very well. You can see a little bit right there. A very faint iridescence or whatever. That is not natural. That's not something that should actually show up for the crystal itself. That is a result of it going through the dishwasher a million times. Um, it's kind of probably hard to see on the camera, but you can probably see here. There is so much damage and particularly here and here, you can see that edge there. Essentially, the surface of the glass is starting to degrade. It has been now so badly deteriorated by the dishwasher detergent. Bearing in mind as well, dishwasher detergent, if you actually put it in, is a fair bit harsher than your average dish, dish soap. Like, it is designed to essentially to eat over. Like, it, it really is kind of acidic and it dissolves stuff and gets rid of grease and everything like that. It is incredibly harsh stuff. That's why dishwasher damage is what it is. You were essentially abrading the surface of the material off. And if your dishware or your dinnerware, if it hasn't actually been like made with that in mind, as in to be a little a fair bit more resistant to to like the effects of a dish the dishwasher's detergent, then this is the effect that you're going to get. It is just going to be completely wrecked. Now Whoever owned this, I'm afraid, also did no favors by the, just the use of this. There are, there is a lot of wear. There's a lot of like, I wouldn't say, I wouldn't call them chips or cracks or anything, but you can see hopefully the edge there. You can see first of all, all of this white pitting, where the surface is being degraded, and there's also a fair bit of just wear on it as, as well. Somebody beat the absolute hell out of this, and then put it through the dishwasher a million times. Now, part of the reason I don't like holding it is that you can tell from the surface that there's something not right about this. Um, I don't know if you've ever actually, like if you've ever actually taken something straight out of the dishwasher just after it's done or whatever, it, a lot of the times if you have cups or anything like that, you can push your hand over the surface and it feels like, it feels stripped. It feels almost tacky. It doesn't feel like smooth. Um, especially in the case of like if you have very glossy kind of uh, like ceramic, basically anything that's made of ceramic that has a kind of a glossy lace, you can definitely feel that that roughness or whatever. It is a difficult thing to describe. It I find this personally very unpleasant to hold. 
like I I want to show you guys that but it's just it's not quite as bad as the little Arizona pot that I had this is just I just don't I don't find it I don't particularly like it and because I can pick it up and I know that that feeling and you can you can even see it there that's where my it, like if it was smooth glass yeah actually just because I have this on my desk this is obviously my Robert Held vase this has never been anywhere near a dishwasher it is absolutely perfect in every way and it's also hand-blown glass it is smooth my finger just runs right over it if you pick up this little thing yeah that's dishwasher damage and it's such a shame but uh, anyway having said all of that what exactly is it bearing in mind i bought it for 80 cents what we have is this this is lositzer hopefully i've gotten that pronunciation right lositzer uh this is in fact probably the first example i've ever gotten of east german glass and um, i've had a few pieces or i've seen spotted a few pieces as far as i know um that would have been west germany um if if you're not up to date on european history um after the second after the second world war germany was divided into west Ger west germany and east germany uh, west germany was controlled by the allies and east germany was controlled by the soviets and east germany became the german democratic republic and it essentially became a kind of communist state and that all came to the end in 1990 when they held free elections or whatever and germany was then reunified and it became the current you know the current country that we know of um so this one this one is pretty cool this comes from comes from east germany and it's kind of good that we actually have an actual date range for this as well um this, I think, is a bowl example of this particular pattern, which is called cut, crisscross and thumbprint. And you can see that this is the glass and it has broadly the same kind of similar elements. It has like the little round parts with the with the like these long thin cuts and the crisscross in this case is there on the side. It doesn't have much of a, an actual presence, unfortunately. This is just like some kind of very basic examples and it doesn't obviously the pattern is not complete if we go back and just take a look at Lositzer in general it has some quite nice stuff uh, a lot of cut crystal uh, good quality I have to say um, unfortunately there's just not enough to go on it doesn't have enough patterns and yeah we don't really have any other candidates I think that would be quite you know to kind of identify what this particular pattern is that's essentially just my best guess but how do we know how do we know what this is or do, or do we know anything more about this and happily we have this this is a site called kitty um i translated this from what i just as far as i know must be thigh i'm not 100 percent sure um i'll have to actually go and look that up and this is someone who is selling a vintage rare crystal cup of the brand lausitz or black crystal in east germany and the nice thing about this obviously is that not only do we have pictures of the bowl itself, which absolutely the damage matches what we've got here. Come on. We've also got the, the pictures of the sticker, which is what I was looking at, this specifically. Black crystal, obviously 24% lead. That's PDO, that's the chemical symbol for lead. Gepressed. Um, interesting, that's it. that presumably means pressed glass, but I'm pretty sure this isn't. So I don't know about that. Bearing in mind, not fluent in German, I only know a little bit. And it says obviously made in GDR. Great for our purposes because it means that we can actually date this. I'm assuming that it's not from the 1950s because the basically this looks like a more modern sticker. I would guess this is probably the 80s-ish. And again, GDR ended isn't in the 1990, so it cannot be any kind of any any later than that. So do we actually know anything about Lausitz or the company itself? Well, we kind of do. This is Stolze, this is another company, in Lausitz, and this isn't actually in, obviously in Germany. And the nice thing about this is that we do actually have a little bit of information here about the history of the company, kind of uh, like, and a little bit of the history of uh, like the German glassworks. And it says here, until the German reunification, the Lausitz glasswork was the largest glasswork in the former GDR and the employer for up to 4,000 people. Glassworks is one of the most largest employers in the region. That's, that's really interesting. Like this, this is obviously a very big enterprise. 
like it, it became obviously you know a so you know you know a communist possession of the state kind of a thing that was run as like a, a state company but it was a fairly big company and the interesting thing is that because we've got the sticker and i want to go back to it because i find this i find this absolutely fascinating because this in this is in english okay if it was made for the internal market i'm pretty sure they wouldn't have bothered with that this must have been made for export and that is how it got to North America. Interesting stuff. So uh, apart from that, obviously I've got a little bit here in East Germany. There's the flag. <laughs> in unofficially East Germany, officially the German De Democratic Republic. And, you know, the history then of the Cold War, the, the US versus the Soviets, um, all, all that stuff. Um, honestly, I'm not sure how interesting it is, but I will leave a link down in the description if you really want to go read about it. So here we go interesting little curio um i'm afraid that it's just going to go back to the thrift store because i really can't do anything else with it again i only bought it for 80 cents but the sad fact is is that something that is this badly damaged by a dishwasher is essentially worthless um i did actually what was worth it, i did actually go look up people actually collecting loves it sir and this is in the last 90 days there are 28 results the finer pieces are definitely being collected um these lovely cut glass uh, wine glasses are definitely seem to be popular there's one for so there's, there's a couple of sets up there though i think you can go from maybe yeah there we go those are crystal cut to clear footed amethyst wine glass and 24 percent lead obviously so the nice stuff definitely does sell i think it is you'd either have to identify it as being loves it or actually have a sticker on it that one is particularly nice i have to say vintage obviously um cut to clear cranberry and obviously intact for quite nice money, 181 Canadian. But yeah, I've seen a lot of these glasses coming up. Quite nice. But as for this little bowl, no, this is um this I'm afraid is this is it. Um yeah. It will probably be going back to the thrift store. Um hopefully someone will actually find a use for it, or maybe they just like the kind of the style. I really hope that it doesn't get run through a dishwasher again. Um yeah, I will not be able to keep it around. I just, that tackiness, that destruction of the surface, it just, it's too, it's too unpleasant. I really don't like it. So here we go. It's still kind of interesting. And I think it's very kind of, it's kind of good just to recognize that this is what severe dishwasher damage actually does look like. So this is my small joyful thing for the day. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.